Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a project of a microwave link with Petlas program. I'll open from all coordinates. The problem with this link I explained earlier is with this line of sight. Ok, so I just revise antenna heights to make no matter how big tower I need uh, on some site just to make line of sight I can also put manually some heights let's say some rounded numbers ok print profile here is profile it's clear and we can start project our link but what frequency do I need I'll start with 18G next step is to choose equipment that you have so I look in my folders and I find Passonic V4 files of NIC company you can download those files from official Petlas wiki site in the link below same for antennas you need information about every equipment you use because every antenna is different so for ATG link I find ATG antenna of course for example 1.2 meters diameter ok same for other side although it, it can be different ok, th th there is also info about antennas you can see characteristics of each of them things like antenna gain or beam width are very important also diameter and frequency you can see uh, here all frequency and uh, you know, other things we are done with summary module let's go to worksheet module here you can define channel that, that don't need to be uh, defined now unless we calculate interference also here is information about equipment uh, we, are, we defined it already about antennas and now important geographic part you can choose ITU recommendations or you can choose crane method that requ require rain files I've copied those files from installation CD no need to choose proper region regions are defined depending on the read rain intensity and annual rainfall our link is somewhere here on this North America chart other part of the world have also their rain regions so find the one that suits you best try to google it and find your best match there are different sources for same regions this is just an example but for our link you can see between B and D regions we have quite different data so our result will depend on choosing proper region here I, I choose ITUR.12 recommendations SCSR calculation and North America dispersing margin then click on the path and geoclimatic button and calculate those empty cells ok now to the full report in uh, full report in full report you see finished project 
or from geography positions, heights, on angles between antennas, equipment, in statistic expectation for your link. Everything is here. And we are done with project for our link. But if you are interested in the rest of the video, I'll give you a few more things. Back to summary module. Okay, for example, this is our Excel level that you should expect after mounting your equipment. Second, what if you want to change your equipment for higher capacity? Let's put for example STM1 capacity instead of 32 megabits. That includes different equipment, but we are still with within the same frequency range. Uh, see our RX level is of course different. Now uh, here in worksheet module C our annual availability is 14, uh, 16 minutes. I try to keep it one minute per month so it's 12 per year. Therefore I need better an availability and I I will get it by choosing lower frequency. Let's choose 13G and of course this means different equipment. Equipment in 13G area. Also I need different antennas. I just keep same diameter in this example. 1.2 meters. Also you can see antenna characteristics here. Ok. On other side also 13G antenna. Now open full report again and see annual availability is less than 4 minutes now. That's really reliable link. I'll keep it this way and I'll choose this lower frequency because in future I want to get high capacities without changing frequency range. That means without losing extra money changing antennas. If I'm happy with 32 megabits I stick to 18G because it's cheaper. That's it, save file and we are done. Ok, I'll put some different name so I can remember this link in the future. And the last thing is how to determine what frequency I need to use? That's more complex question. Generally, a bigger distance you need, a bigger antennas you must use, and lower frequency range. There is no simple answer to that. Uh, that will give you a project. Roughly, you should never use 6G for less than 25 kilometers. 13G for less than 13 kilometers and 18G for less than 5 kilometers. Everything else is in your hand.